React Native Stallion is a fast, lightweight OTA update solution for React Native apps. In this video, we will learn how to push updates to users in production instantly without needing App Store or Play Store approvals. We will also learn to customize how and when updates are installed using simple JavaScript APIs. Let's start by setting up an account in the React Native Stallion web console. Sign up with your email. Create a new organization. You are on the free plan by default. Create a new project. You can now invite your team members to collaborate with. Inside your project settings, generate an app token and keep it safe. We will need it later. Now let's create a new bucket where we will push our OTA releases later. Buckets are like folders which can contain multiple releases. Let's begin by installing both React Native Stallion and Stallion CLI packages inside your project using NPM. Remember to run pod install for iOS and Gradle sync for Android to install native dependencies. For Android, inside your main application.java file, override get.js bundle file with stallion.getjs bundle file and pass your application context and put stallion project ID and stallion app token inside the string.xml file. Similarly, inside your app delegate file, import stallion module and add stallion module dot get bundle URL as shown. Also add the stallion project ID and stallion app token from earlier inside the info.plist files. Finally, wrap your app component on the JavaScript layer with a with stallion higher order component. Let's set up a custom OTA update flow inside our app where we display a pop-up to the user to install the update once an OTA release has finished downloading. You can choose your own custom installation strategy using JavaScript APIs provided by React Native Stallion. To achieve this, first we will need to code a custom pop-up that the user will interact with. We will then integrate this pop-up with React Native Stallion by using the Use Stallion Update hook. At the root of your React Native app, register the custom update pop-up. Extract is restart required from the US Stallion update hook. You also get easy access to the currently running and newly downloaded release-related meta information like version is mandatory, author, and release notes. You can use this meta information to customize the update flow for the user. For now, just display our pop-up conditionally when this flag becomes true. Import Restart from React Native Stallion, then on click of the Restart button, simply call stallion.restart to trigger your app restart. Now that we are done with all our app side changes, let's generate a release build for both platforms to test. Remember, you need to test OTA updates on the release version of your app and not on debug build with the Metro Bundler connected. Let's make some code changes. 
then we will send our first iOS OTA release through the React Native Stallion CLI. Simply run the publish bundle command. Copy your bucket path from the Stallion console. Log into the CLI for the first time by pasting the access token from the browser. Once the build is published, it will be visible inside your bucket in the Stallion console. Let's promote this build to production. Now by adding the app version and release notes. Once a release is promoted, you can gradually increase the rollout percent to production users using the slider. For testing, let's make the rollout to 100% for now. Stallion will check for a new release every time your app enters foreground state from background. Once a new release is detected, it is downloaded and stored in memory. Our custom pop-up shows up prompting the user to install the release. On restart, we can see that the new changes were applied to the app automatically. Once your release is rolled out to production users, you can use the Stallion console to get adoption-related metrics. You get information like the total number of users on this app version, the number of downloads, installs, and rollbacks that occurred for your OTA release. You also get a time series graph to track the adoption behavior real time. We set up a Stallion account and created a project and a bucket. We then installed the SDK and integrated it into both Android and iOS apps. Then we built a custom update pop-up using use Stallion update and stallion.restart. Then we sent our first OTA release and promoted it to production. Finally, we tracked real-time adoption using metrics and graphs in the Stallion console. In the next part, we will explore features like rollback protection and OTA safety provided in React Native Stallion.